tonight I'll be doing a five, a new five-year plan for King's Dominion, so let's look at the past five years. In 2013, a Planet Snoopy seven-acre expansion and mergers with Kidsville was added. Snoopy's Splash Dance was removed for that. In 2014, they're, 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 they were celebrating their 40th anniversary international... <laughs> including International Street Fountain Restored, Candy Apple Grove and Sar Safari Village Return, Volcano the Blast Coaster, and Anaconda Retrofitted. In, t in 2015, the 40th anniversary celebration continued. Waterworks expanded and, and was renamed to Soak City with new attractions. And in 2016, Delirium opened in place of Shockwave and... And this year, they're getting a Planet Snoopy expansion with the addition of Kite Eating Tree, Sally Seaplane, and Peanuts 500. A free Wi-Fi will also be in, uh, be available in the park. So let's start predicting the future. In 2018, I'm predicting they'll be getting a GCI winning coaster to replace the Hurler because... Uh, on October twenty, I mean on October fifteenth, two thousand sixteen, Hurler announced that King's, Hur I mean King's Dominion announced that Hurler is closing for good, and so uh, a Great Coasters International wooden coaster would make a perfect fit in Hurler's spot. So I think they should get a Great in Coasters International wooden coaster to replace the Hurler. In twenty nineteen, I'm predicting they'll be getting a. Mondial top scan because those rides are so awesome and and Carowinds is getting one of these next year and it's going to be really beneficial and so yeah I think King's Dominion should get one in 2019 in 2020 I'm predicting they'll be getting a Zamperla twist and bounce because it's Zamperla's newest ride and I think that's that should be the next popular ride to start being installed at Cedar Fair Parks. And so, yeah, I think King's Dominion should get a Zamperla Twist and Bounce. In 2021, I'm predicting they'll be getting an SNS Scream and Swing because, because they really need one, like people were saying a long time ago. And so, yeah, I think... I think they should get an SNS Scream and Swing in 2021. In 2022, I'm... I'm predicting they'll be getting a Hus break dance because because uh that I think that should also be a popular rock to start being installed. So that is my five year plan for King's Dominion, the old one I made in, Mer in Myrtle Beach. So anyways, reply to me your thoughts on this video and see you in the next.